Now what we need to do is that we need to work on the rest of the images. So we need first to work on the logo and also we need to work on the banner. So we need to add another image. So let me add these and also in the footer we need to add here the logo and a few images here. So I have uh, I have here a folder for these images. I have uh, these images. First I have this banner. I'm going to drag this banner and drop it here uh, onto the images. And I also have the logo. I have this logo. Let me drag this logo and drop it onto the images. And let's now add these. So this is the logo that I'm going to be using. So now what I'm going to do is that here in the style.css, first of all for the banner, I'm going to change the banner from back to banner. I'm going to be displaying this image. I'm going to be displaying this image instead of the back uh, image. I'm going to say here, banner.jpg. Now let me refresh and show you how it's going to look like. So first of all, since, uh, because I have added the the, the logo, the logo has been displayed, but I'm going to work on, on, on the logo shortly. For the banner, as you can see, this is the banner will be displayed here. But we need to change the, the color here because it's not, I don't think the color looks good with this banner. So I'm going to change the banner here, uh, the banner text to white. So instead of saying color, remember we have this banner, uh, color coral, I'm going to change it to white. So I think white would look much better. So if I say white, it's going to look better. Also, the uh, above above the uh, this actually this uh, text, we need to change this text. So if I go back to the uh, index, we have the banner. Let me show you this. We have this banner. This banner. So we have this mid-season uh, uh, mid sale, so we need to change the H4. Therefore, I'm going to say here, banner, and then H4, and then I'm going to say color, and the color is going to be white. Let me now show you this. So the color is going to be white, and, and now it looks better. Now let's work on the logo. The logo now is being displayed here, and also in the footer, we need to display it here, but it's too big. Therefore, we need to add a class to resize this uh, this logo. So I'm going to head on over to CSS, and then in CSS, uh, I'm going to create a uh, class here. I'm going to create a class, but before I create the class, let's add that class to the index. So in the index here, in the navigation bar, I'm going to here say image. I'm going to say class and I'm going to give this image a class called logo and uh, also in the footer in the footer if you scroll to the footer you'll find that we have this image we have the image right here this image so for actually not this image this is for the payment so it must be this one it must be this one, so this one, logo. We need also to give this image the same class, which is the logo. I'm going to say logo. So let's work on this logo class. Here in the style, I'm going to create a, uh, I'm going to say logo. I'm going to say here dot logo. And for the logo, we need to resize the image. So I'm going to give it a width of uh, 40px and height also 40px let me save and let me uh, head on over to the browser and refresh and now as you can see the the uh, the uh, logo is going to be much smaller also the foot in the footer we have a problem in the footer we have here to say assets images images not just image images Assets, Images, Logo.jpg. Now, if I refresh, the logo will be displayed here as well. Uh, now, um, here, here, this navigation bar, if you find that this nav bar is, uh, is shifted to the, to the right, is too, too much shifted to the right, you can decrease the uh, margin. So at the top, remember, I have here said 
margin left 60. You can decrease this if you want to shift this navigation uh, balance to the middle. So if you say here, for example, if you say 40 percent, the navigation uh, balance, these buttons will be shifted to the middle. So you can control this uh, for some reason if you want your design to be like this. But I like I liked the buttons to be displayed on the right side. Uh, another thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to display the brand name here. So if you want to display a brand name, you can here say uh, below the image, below the image in the in the navigation bar below the image, you can here say H uh, two for example, and then you can say uh, you can give it first a class brand. And then here, let's type uh, the brand name. So, for example, I'm going to say here orange. And then uh, let's work on the class, on the brand class. I'm going to say here dot nav bar and then dot uh, brand. And then I'm going to change the color first. I'm going to say color coral. And uh, next, I'm going to say margin. I'm going to give it a margin. So the margin is going to be 3px top and bottom and 5px right and left. Finally, I'm going to change the font size. The, so the font size would be uh, 1.5 rem. Let me save and let me head on over to the browser and show you the difference now. So this is the brand name as you can see here. It says orange, of course. This is just a, a brand name that I came up with right now, but you need to type a brand name, your brand name. As I told you here, the problem is that the navigation bar now, because we have here the, the brand name and the logo, the navigation uh, buttons um, uh, has been shifted to the right, and we don't want that. Therefore, I'm going to decrease here, I'm going to decrease the margin left to, say, 50%. So if I decrease this, now it will be shifted slightly to the right. So I want it to be like this. Or at least, or, or I can increase it a little. So for example, 55, 55 I think would be perfect. So 55 is perfect. Now it's perfect. Uh, finally, we need to work on the images. Uh, um, at the bottom here, we have five images. So for these images, you can add new images or you can use one uh, some of the images that we already have. So I'm going to be using some of the images that we already have. For example, I'm going to say here, featured one, featured two, and featured three, and featured four. And finally here, let's say uh, uh, here we have, uh, I think, cloths one. Let me save and let me uh, refresh and show you now that the images, these images will be displayed here as you can see. These are the images that will be displayed here. So now our website, our uh, main page is complete in terms of the images and also in terms of the design.